Three years ago, we published our first book, Observing the Frontier. We only printed 500 copies. They went fast. There's no way to get them now. Plan to update it next year, but right now, let's open to page 21, and I want to show you the chart on planetary geometry and solar activity. We look at just the absolute largest solar flares and geomagnetic storms ever recorded, plus the Carrington event inferred, and find a significant planetary geometry during all of them. Note, Mercury is in play for all but one of these. Two of them have multiple alignments going, one is a four-way alignment, and three of the remaining four are what are considered major inner system alignments. This was put together after a good bit of reading historic texts and books, especially Nelson's 1950s work, and seeing the slow progression of the understanding up through the 70s to where it hit a wall in the first few years of this millennium, when increased interest forced numerous large-scale studies that unfortunately took a mechanistic approach using gravity, ignoring magnetic connections and resonance and radio frequency, and ignoring the statistical correlations, and simply stamping the idea as impossible due to gravity's mechanistic inability to match the power requirements. Again, just gravity. But after NASA got involved, there came a period of extended study, which led to numerous works in 2012, purporting to demonstrate the necessity of further understanding. And then Uranus and Neptune were brought in as statistically modulative of the grand solar cycle. That's when things got interesting. The greatest change in solar velocity towards barycenter does occur during a Neptune-Uranus geometry that lasts long enough for both Saturn and Jupiter to enter the mix during the duration. We have just recently looked at another published version of the draft we saw in preprint in 2017, now polished and demonstrating how Jupiter and Saturn rule not only the cycle, but the flaring output on the macro scale. Their model was even able to show a correlation with the unexpected uptick of activity in September 2017. Now let's come to that 2017 blast fest on our star and see that we did have a minor geometry of heliocentric opposition in Venus and Saturn, but at that same time, little Mercury in the mix again, opposing giant Jupiter. That's another two alignment string during the core flaring uptick of 2017. Folks, this planetary stuff is real. This is why we do planetary geometry every month over at suspiciousobservers.org, and one of the clues that maybe our ancestors, with their focus on the planets as ruling celestial events, had a bit better idea of the workings of Earth and the solar system than we realized.